Back to politics. Hillary Clinton continues to attack Donald Trump on his jobs plan. She says the Trump plan will cost America 3.4 million jobs. That's what she said. Doug Holtz Aiken, American Action Forum president, is with us now. What do you make of that? And look, I know you're on the other side of the ledger here, but that was a wild claim that if Donald Trump's elected, puts in place his plan, we lose three and a half million jobs. What say you? Uh, this comes from a Moody's study that was put out about a month and a half ago and actually hasn't been revised since Mr. Trump revised his policies. And there are really two sources of this claim. Uh, number one is the impact of his tariffs and uh, uh, opposition to trade agreements, which they give a big, big impact from. And the second is the, the tax cuts and military spending, which Moody's thinks will cause interest rates to skyrocket and will have a very deep recession. So it's mm. deficits and, and anti-trade stance that are at the core of this. It's just uh, he's a, changed his tax plan since then, and Doug, you know, it's, it's well, just we'll see. so yesterday, isn't it? It's just so yesterday. You have an analysis of a tax-cutting plan that says it makes you lose jobs. I've been hearing that <laughs> for, for a decade at least. You know. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's all centered on not the virtues of tax policy. They don't, they don't even discuss that. It's all centered on deficits and uh, a big spike in interest rates. It's, it envisions us getting 10-year treasuries to something that looks like 7, almost 8%. Uh, that's in no one else's outlook. Okay, another point from Hillary Clinton's statement about the Trump's plan, that if Trump gets in power and puts his plan in place, he will abolish the estate tax, and that will benefit the Trump family to the tune of $4 billion. I see you're smiling. What do you make of this? Uh, the, the debate over the estate tax is completely misplaced. And, you know, she's made it into a personal thing. Most people on the left turn it into some benign instrument of social justice. The reality is there's an increasing body of research that says that the estate tax harms capital accumulation in the economy. It interferes and distorts portfolios. It stops small businesses and family businesses from hiring and expanding. It has a lot of detrimental impacts. And as a result, a majority of Americans think it is absolutely a bad idea and unfair to tax someone twice, once when they earn money and then when they die. So they're on the wrong side of history in this particular debate. Could you call it Reagan-esque? the Trump tax plan? Uh, I'd like to see a little more coherence and more details. Um, we certainly need a big tax reform. Uh, the, the tax code is harming our international competitiveness. It's harming our ability to grow. It is widely perceived to be fundamentally unfair and hard to understand. So uh, I say go down that route. And I, I, you know, I think the best single plan we've seen so far is the, the House Republican plan that just came out. He took a step toward that, and I think that was a really good move. Well, you know, Donald Trump is changing his tone to some degree, focusing more sharply on the issues of the day. Maybe he will move more towards Paul Ryan's plan. That's quite possible, I suspect. Last word to you. Uh, I hope so. Uh, and it's past the tax plan. Uh, I think Paul Ryan's done a great service to conservatives by putting out a whole series of plans on anti-poverty, on health care reform, on regulation reform. These are all badly needed in America, and these are all solid plans. All right, Doug Holtz, Econ, thanks for joining us as always. We'll see you again Thank real you. soon. Thank you.